In this next video, we're going to show you how to actually use a fixed price in each department. So in the previous video, we set up the names for each department as food, drinks and coffee, but we left the price open, which allowed you to actually change or enter whichever price you want for each department. In this example, we're going to allocate a price for each department, a fixed price, which means coffee may be fixed at $2.50. So what that means is you will not need to type in $2.50 and then the department number. You simply press food or coffee or whichever department you've programmed and the preset price will automatically appear. So that's a good opportunity for you to maybe, if you have a limited number of products, you might have all your coffees down this row all your food items in these two rows and maybe some drink items here. So with the 16 different um, departments, you've actually got 16 different items with all preset pricing. So let's show you how we do this. First we turn to PGM using the C key. And then from the quick setup guide, we type in 520 and then subtotal which tells the machine we're ready to set up fixed pricing for our departments. Now let's say food, which is department one, let's say we want to fix that at $6 per item. So we make that press department one and we type in six double zero. So $6 is now going to be the fixed price on department one. We hit X time to save that. And as you can see, we've changed department one to a fixed price of $6. Now let's say department 2 coffees, we want to make that fixed price at $3.50. So we hit department 2, 350, and then X time. And we'll have a look at that one. And as you can see, department 2 is now $3.50. Now let's say our drinks department, we want to change the fixed price on that. We hit 3 and then that was drinks, so we might make them $2.50 each. Hit X times to complete. And as you can see, we've changed department three to $2.50. Once we've finished programming all the fixed pricing that we want, we just hit the cash 10 button, and that saves the programming. Now, as we go back to the register position, I'll demonstrate how this would actually work in real life. Let's say a customer comes up to the counter with a food item, a drink item and a coffee. You now no longer need to enter the price. You simply hit one for food, two, let's say he drank three coffees, so one, two, three coffees and he also bought a drink. As you can see, the price comes up automatically. And if we have a look on the receipts, the price is already preset for each department. This really speeds up transactions and uh, makes things a lot more efficient at the checkout. So the process is, is straightforward. You can continue adding items. Let's say a couple more food items, a couple more drink items. And then once you complete, you hit subtotal. $38, take $50 from the customer. And there we go. The change is given. So once again, in this particular example, we've renamed the departments in the previous video, but in this video, we've actually given each department a fixed price. And you generally do that when you have a low number of products and you'd actually allocate each department name a price and a product, a more specific product. So you might have all your coffees down here, all your food items here, and all your drink items here. Really speeds up the process. Really depends on your type of business, which one you choose. Some people prefer the open department pricing. Some people prefer the closed or fixed pricing as per this video.